You've all met Mattel's famous Barbie, Ken, Midge, and Alan. But you haven't met Skipper. She's Barbie's little sister. And she has beautiful long hair you can really brush. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. My name is Joey and today we are talking about Barbie's first ever family member, Skipper. Now, Skipper has changed her appearance and her age more times than you can imagine. She has a very interesting history with lots of twists and turns, but before we get started, if you love Barbie and other dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. But now, let's talk about Skipper. Now, Skipper was originally introduced in 1964, at the same time as Midge, Barbie's best friend. 1964 was also the first time that Barbie was available in Europe. Similar to Midge, Skipper was introduced to counteract criticisms Barbie was getting for looking too mature. Skipper was also released as a response to requests that Barbie have a child. Mattel decided that Barbie getting married or being pregnant would make her too domestic, which wasn't what Barbie was about. So instead of giving her her own child, they gave her a younger sister, Skipper, to babysit. And I've always loved that dynamic. I'm an older sibling myself. Although I'm sure a lot of kids played with Skipper as Barbie's child once in a while. And I know that in my games, I would even pretend that Skipper was a younger version of Barbie sometimes. Skipper was originally nine and a quarter inches tall, but she's changed heights quite a lot over her history. She came with either blonde, auburn, or dark brown hair. She wore a red swimsuit, red shoes, and a metal headband, which would later be replaced with elastic. There were also 10 different fashion packs available, most of which matched with a corresponding Barbie fashion. These two clearly spend a lot of time together. I don't think I've ever worn anything matching with my brother. The fashion packs have very cute vintage names like Ballet Class, Dream Time, Dress Coat, Flower Girl, Masquerade, Red Sensation, School Days, Silk and Fancy, Skating Fun, and Under Pretties. Now, Under Pretties are basically just her underwear. That one's kind of weird. I don't understand the point of that. I have to say, I love the Masquerade one, especially. A wedding set was also available, which included Barbie, Ken, Midge, and Skipper. You know what, I would love to own this set, or Mattel should make a reproduction of this set. It's so cute. Although I do find it a little bit confusing because Barbie isn't meant to be married, but I did my research and it does say in very small print on the box, Barbie is dressed as a dream bride, which kind of implies that this is a fantasy and not like a real wedding. I'm planning on making a whole video about Barbie as a bride, so I'll go into more detail about that in that video, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. There was also a Skipper set available which came with a doll and a fashion pack, which was quite cute. Skipper was a success, much more of a success than Midge ever ended up being, unfortunately. Poor Midge. Because Skipper was such a success, in 1965, Mattel introduced Scooter and Ricky. They were Skipper's friends! Ah, and they are so cute. They're really cute. Ricky was described in the booklet as Skipper's special friend. Interesting. Skipper, Scooter, and Ricky all had the same body mould. So Scooter could wear Skipper's fashions, but Ricky had six of his own fashion packs produced. But because Ricky and Skipper had the exact same body mould, Ricky could wear Skipper's fashions if he wanted to. I wonder how many kids in the 60s would like dress Ricky in Skipper's clothes and Skipper in Ricky's clothes. <laughs> Scooter came in the same three different hair colours as Skipper, whereas Ricky only came with red hair. Also in 1965, an alternative version of Skipper and Scooter was produced with bendable legs, but sadly, Ricky never got bendable legs. Poor Ricky. Justice for Ricky. What kind of a name is Scooter? Sounds like a Muppet. Skipper also got her own school play set, which was made out of cardboard, and Barbie was the teacher. My goodness, Skipper and Barbie literally can't escape each other. Skipper and Barbie also got their own dream house together in 1965, which weirdly only has one bed, even though it was advertised as Barbie and Skipper's dream house. Hmm. 
This was also the first dream house to be made out of plastic. In 1965, Tootie and Todd were introduced as Barbie and Skipper's younger twin siblings. Tootie looks like an actual demon. What is wrong with her? Tootie and Todd were discontinued in 1971, but it's believed that Tootie basically became Stacy at some point, and Todd would still make the occasional appearance. Maybe Todd actually lives with the parents. The parents that we never get to see. In 1968, Skipper got a twist and turn waist and rooted eyelashes. And in 1969, there was a new version of the twist and turn Skipper doll. This time she had like pigtails. And I love this little swimsuit. It's really cute. The colours are so bright. And in 1970, yet another version of the Twist and Turn Skipper was released. I really love the 1970s Twist and Turn Skipper. Like, the style is so mod. In 1970, Dramatic New Living Skipper was released as part of the Living Barbie line. This Skipper doll had loads of new points of articulation and you know what, she's probably the most articulated skipper ever, because I doubt any of them have ever had this much articulation. She had articulation at the elbows and the wrists and the shoulders and the knees and the hips and the waist. And obviously the head. I wish Barbies had this much articulation today. Scooter and Ricky were sadly discontinued in 1967, so Skipper was in need of some new friends. Living Fluff was introduced in 1971. What kind of a name is Fluff? It sounds like a dog. In 1972, Skipper also got a new friend called Tiff. She had the same face mould as Fluff, and she was called Skipper's tomboy friend on the box. I love Tiff. She's so cool. She wears jeans. She's got like a stop sign t-shirt. She rides a skateboard. In 1971, Malibu Skipper was released. The Malibu Barbie line is like one of the most iconic Barbie lines of all time. Similar to Barbie, Malibu Skipper had her eyes facing forwards for the first time. She wasn't like looking coyly to the side anymore. She was looking straight ahead. They also released a version called Sun Loving Malibu Skipper, which had tan lines. Okay. She also didn't come with sunscreen and was definitely promoting bad sun safety. It's even worse with this doll because she's a child. Where are the parents? In 1973, Skipper was included in the Quick Curl line. This was a line of Barbies which had like wiry hair which you could curl and crimp and stuff like that. Skipper was just minding her business in the 70s but in 1975, she would face her biggest controversy with the release of the Growing Up Skipper doll. Meet new Growing Up Skipper. She's two dolls in one. Because when you turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage doll, which is something you can't do. You can have fun with Skipper when she's little, then suddenly you can make her grow up enough to wear her glamorous teenage skirt. If you have seen the Barbie movie, you may be aware of the Growing Up Skipper doll. She was quite controversial. Basically, when you cranked her arm, she would grow a quarter of an inch taller and breasts would appear on her rubbery chest. There were loads of articles in the media about the doll at the time. I found this one online. I'm not sure exactly where it's from, but it basically says that a Connecticut women's group were protesting the toy the head of the Connecticut Feminist Committee for Media Reform said in the article when asked about Mattel's toy that it is disruptive to the image of women and that it's a grotesque caricature of the female body that invites ridicule. Mattel's consumer advisor said in response, obviously we disagree. She also said that their market research on the doll showed that girls accepted it as a two-in-one doll. I think this is quite a tricky one. Even though she was quite controversial, I couldn't find any evidence to suggest that Mattel actually recalled the doll. And Mattel actually tried the gimmick again in the mid noughties with the My Scene line. Even though it's a little bit strange and I don't really like how the commercials focus on Skipper's chest, I don't think there's anything inherently sexual about this doll. Puberty is something that we should be able to talk openly about. 
so that it doesn't feel so isolating when it happens to you and you know your body starts to change. It's a tricky issue. There is one thing I don't really understand about this doll, which is why does she have to wear a long floor length skirt when she becomes a teenager? Skipper also got a new friend called Ginger with this line. She was never seen again after this line, maybe because it was so controversial, they just wanted to kind of like rid themselves of that whole era for Skipper. After all the controversy and all the backlash, Skipper wasn't seen again for a couple years. And then in 1979, Skipper reappeared with Super Teen Skipper. This time she had a new face mould with a new mature looking body. And in 1980, Skipper got her first official boyfriend with Scott. And he has the most 70s haircut I've ever seen in my life. It's giving the Brady Bunch. Weirdly enough, in the early 80s, Skipper would revert back and forth between her original younger look, like the Great Shape Skipper from 1983, while other times she would have her new, more teenage, mature look, like Horse Loving Skipper, also from 1983. In 1985, Hot Stuff Skipper got another new face mould, and I have to say, I hate this face mould. It's so creepy. Why are her eyes so far apart? She looks like Sid the Sloth. In 1988, Teen Fun Skipper was released with yet another new face mould. The back of the box said, Wow, look at Skipper now, grown up, gorgeous, and enjoying every minute as a teen. This whole next era is basically like Skipper's glorification of being a teenager era. But these Skipper dolls are definitely the most iconic. I am very nostalgic for these Skipper dolls, and I'm sure a lot of other millennials are like, I love her cute little face. She's adorable. This 1989 Homecoming Queen Skipper says on the box that she is the most popular girl in school. Good for her. <laughs> Homecoming Queen Skipper was also the first Skipper doll to have a black version, which is crazy. I cannot believe it took until 1989 for Mattel to make a black Skipper doll. The Teen Time line would introduce Skipper's new best friend, Courtney. Courtney... Courtney is such a kind of American 80s teen movie name. I love it. Courtney had the exact same face mould as Skipper, except with dark red hair. Now, I know that people in the 80s had, like, a weird fascination with teen culture, but some of this teen-centric marketing, it, it just goes a bit too far. On the back of the Skipper Dolls box, it says in capital letters, Make her dreams of being a teen come true. Your little girl is growing up, and so is Skipper. She's the cutest teenager, always ready for school or a slumber party. Teen Time Skipper and Teen Time Courtney's costumes transform can, from casual looks into pretty pyjamas. Let your little girl discover with Skipper all the fun of being a teen. Gosh, how many times did they say teen in that little paragraph? Being a teenager definitely isn't this glamorous or exciting, but anyway, it's meant to be aspirational, isn't it? Skipper also got a cute new boyfriend in 1990, Cool Tops Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is definitely not a cute name, though. He sounds like he's an accountant. Kevin the Accountant. In 1991, Skipper became a babysitter. Skipper loves being a babysitter, like, she will come back to this career quite often. She also entered a beauty pageant. Fun fact, in international markets, this doll was called Glamour Skipper instead of Beauty Pageant Skipper. And I think this is because we don't really have beauty pageants in the UK and other places around the world, so it doesn't really translate very well. In 1995, Skipper got a brand new face mould, and she went to Pizza Hut with Courtney and Kevin in the Pizza Party line of dolls, and we can assume she broke up with Kevin while she was eating a pizza at Pizza Hut because he was never seen again after this line of dolls. Kind of deep. Skipper. She couldn't have taken him somewhere more fancy to break up with him. Teen Skipper was released in 1997. She had a new, even more mature looking face and body mould. I have one of these Skipper dolls here. This doll came out around 1997. The only problem I would say with these Skipper dolls is 
she's practically indistinguishable from Barbie at this point, like, they look exactly the same. They were even basically the same height. Skipper also got her first ever African-American friend with Nikki, a name which would later be stolen by one of Barbie's friends. <laughs> Skipper nearly got a brand new boyfriend called Zach in the 1998 Totally Yo-Yo line, but for unknown reasons, this doll was never produced, but the face mold was used for Blaine in the Generation Girls line. In 1998, Skipper was a cool babysitter once again, but to be honest, I just feel sorry for this doll. Like, she has to look after three very young baby triplets on her own. That's literally impossible. No one, no one can do that. Also, I just want to mention that when I was a kid, I really wanted Fashion Party Skipper from 2000, and I still really want this doll, but she's, like, quite rare in the UK. But she has, like, incredible long hair and, like, shiny clothes, shiny metallic clothes. She's such a sleigh. Sadly, Skipper wouldn't be seen much in the mid-2000s. Her face mould was often being stolen by Midge and Becky. <laughs> Becky with the good hair. She appeared in a camping line in 2009. Interestingly, she had blonde hair with purple streaks. Now, purple streaks would become a common feature of the doll from this point on. She also had a noticeably shorter new body mould. It was the same body mould that had been used for the High School Musical dolls. Around this time, Skipper started to look more like she was 14. She was like Benjamin Button, she'd started getting younger. Then she appeared in a Target exclusive wedding set in 2010. This was the last time she was ever seen with blonde hair. In 2010, to tie in with Barbie Life in the Dream House, Skipper was relaunched with a new face mold and dark brown hair with a purple streak. She was also given brand new characteristics that she retains to this day, like she loves technology, she loves skateboarding, and she loves DJing and music. In 2018, Skipper became a babysitter once again with her own line of dolls called Skipper Babysitter Inc. This line also gave her another new face mold, although it looked very similar to the previous one. This line also introduced a whole bunch of friends for Skipper, but sadly none of them had names. They even introduced a couple new boy dolls, which I absolutely love, especially because Boys aren't very often depicted as babysitters because it's considered like something for girls. And I used to do lots of babysitting when I was younger, so I love that they're including boys in a babysitting line. This year, a brand new line of Skipper dolls called Skipper First Job dolls were released to tie in with Skipper's first ever solo movie, which I love. You go, Skipper, getting your own solo movie. As for her new jobs, she is a dog walker, she works at like an earring place, she works at a snack bar, she works at a water park and a daycare centre, she can't get away from like childcare roles. <laughs> and there was also an exclusive um, Target Skipper doll where she's like working at the cash register in Target and I absolutely love this. I love this. I really wish they'd make like a UK version where like Skipper's working at Tesco's or something. I think that would be so cool. Anyway, there we have it, doll fans. I have spoken about the full history of Barbie's first ever family member, Skipper, and you know what? She has had so many different looks, so many different ages. I love talking about Skipper, and I can't wait to see what she does next. If you enjoyed this video, doll fans, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok and watch some more of my videos, <laughs> and let me know what you think of Skipper in the comments. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye!